Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Chess Kids. Today I show the game played by David and Paulina, and this beautiful game complete in only 25 moves. And this beautiful game at the move 22, the white able to trap the black queen. And let's see how the game play. The game start with the pawn to e4, c6, d4, d5, and here you have the Karo Khan variation. And the game continue with the knight c3, a6, knight f3, and this is the critical path for the knight to play in this game from knight g1. To F3, then to E1, and finally to D3, and the game continues with Bishop G4 pinning the knight and attack the queen if the knight move away. Then Bishop to E2 to unpin and allow the king to go for short castling, and after this E6 was played, and this. Is a first five move and the white is better in this position and here you can see that the pawn is highly active in the center of the square and this knight to knight is very active in this 16 square and the game continue with the white go for the shot swing then knight f6 and e5 was split trying to attack the knight and force the knight to move away from the 16th square and here the knight f to d7 now the knight to e1 was split and trying to attack the bishop and go for the exchange and this forced the bishop to capture and now after this Take back the bishop. Then c5 was played, and at this moment, f4 was played, and this show the idea to allow the knight from b1 to c3, then to d1, and here allow the knight to go to f2, then to attack at g4. And finally, to attack at the position of f6. <coughs> then, in this game, the white capture the free pawn. C takes d4. This give black the better position of winning a pawn. And now the knight to d1. Then bishop to c5 continue develop and attack. And in this position, the bishop is pinning the king and if the pawn, the pawn away, you attack the queen and you will be winning the queen. For example, if the white move a mistake such as a3, the pawn to d3, you have the open check and the bishop is attacking the queen. And this is called a discover check. And also, you have a double attack. And here, the black will be winning the queen and clearly winning in the game. So, after a bishop to c5, the white play knight to d3 to prevent the pawn move to d3. And also, the knight is attacking the bishop. After this, g6 was played, and now the knight 1 to f2 bring out another knight to keep on the attack at the king side. And after this, bishop e7 was played, trying to retreat the bishop. And here, a4 was played to prevent the pawn to b5 
If you play pawn to b5, then the pawn will first capture, and now the pawn cannot capture. If you capture the pawn, then the black will be losing a group. So, after this move, knight to c6 box play, trying to develop another knight into the board. Then, b3 was played to allow the another bishop to be active or she can get moved to these two square and after this knight c5 was the trying to attack the knight and now the bishop to a3 trying to attack the knight or also the bishop and here the knight just captured the knight at b3 and after this the bishop takes e7 then queen capture the bishop and now the c takes the bishop and at this position the black is clearly better and here the black wolf for a king side castle in this position another suggestion the black can play is to play a h5 and now if the root a to b1 then you can just move a queen to b4 and this will give the black is clearly better in the position so after the black casting now you can see that it is almost a uh, equal game for both sides and the white trying to figure out trying to attack by using a knight with the idea to park the knight from g4 and to the position at f6 and attack the king and this knight cannot be captured because it will be protected by the pawn at e5 so knight g4 was played and this is a very strong move and idea for the white to play at the 19th move and after this queen h4 was played and this is a tactical blunder which causes the white to win in the game the other way, another suggestion that you can play is to move a h5 trying to attack the knight and if the knight goes to f6 and check then the king can go to g7 and this will keep the black the slightly better or in the upper hand and now the queen cannot capture the pawn you cannot capture is have not enough material to attack the blacks or even if you move the rook up to attack is still protected by the pawn so it will be insufficient material to continue the attack and the black is better in this position so after this Queen A4 was played and this is one of the tactical blunder which caused the white to win the game. After this, the knight continued to check, knight F6 check, and the king left only have two places to move. And in the actual game, king H8 was played. And if you play a king to G7, then you can continue to move the rook to f3 and continue to attack the queen and if the queen move anywhere then the rook will just capture the pawn at h7 and checkmate the king so in this game king h8 was played and now rook f3 was played by the one and this is a very strong move then h5 was played is another 
tactical blunder and a bad move from the black. So after this move, the rook h3 was played, and this is a very strong move. And this queen is being trapped, as you can see. Anyway, the queen move will be a very bad move. So if you move the queen and capture the pawn, queen takes f4, and you think that it's a free pawn. And in this actual game, the black capture the free pawn by capturing the free pawn and the white is winning the game and made in three. I give a couple of seconds to figure out how the white continue to play and made in three. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show. Here are the beautiful move that the white play and win the game and win in three with the rook sacrifice. After the pawn capture, then the queen attack again and check the king. So, rook takes h5 and check the king and here you leave a limited place and in the actual game the pawn capture the rook and after this queen takes the pawn again and continue to check the king and here there's nothing you can block the check and the king force to move to G7 and now queen to H7 and it will be a checkmate in just 25 moves. And back to this position, if you block with the queen to 6, then the queen will just capture the queen and checkmate the king. And the king cannot move to any place. So back to this position. If you block with the queen, such as queen takes queen to h6, then the rook will just continue to capture the queen. And after king to g7, you have the rook to h7 checkmate. This knight is protecting the rook, and the rook is check the king. And the king cannot go to g8 as the knight is attacking the square and with this thank you